This Pathé News film was made in 1947 to show the post-war recovery of the port in Southampton. Southampton was the headquarters of the US Army during D-Day and the filmmakers are keen to show the port returning to commercial use. In the background is the Royal Navy shore base HMS Shrapnel, or the Southwestern Hotel as she was known before the war. The seaplane flies over the old eastern docks where the troop ship RMS Alcantara is returning the parachute brigade from Palestine. She is moored at the present day Queen Elizabeth dock with the Empress dock behind and the outer dock now Ocean Village beyond. over the Royal Pier, now sadly gone, with on the left the red funnel paddle steamer Lorna Doom. On April 3, 1941, the Admiralty announced that a spirited and successful action was fought between Her Majesty's paddle mine sweeper Lorna Doom and three enemy aircraft. Now back to her usual schedule, taking trippers around the Isle of Wight or from Southampton to Bournemouth, Swanage or Weymouth. We then travel further northwards to the pride of the British merchant fleet the RMS Queen Mary with three funnels, no longer in Battleship Grey, alongside the Western or New Docks. Who could believe that when built in the 1930s as respite from the Great Depression, this would provide the springboard for the liberation of Europe? The seaplane then returns home to its base at Hive on Southampton Water, where the rest of the BOAC flying boats are moored after returning from the pool where they were stationed for safety during the war.